For this build, we're gonna use a combination of 8020 aluminum framing and IKEA parts. These are Austrian made Blum drawers. Um, well, they're left over from our house. They're left over from our, from our house where we did a bunch of modifications, new kitchen, etc. We already have the 8020 because we got that eBay. Bulk lot, uh, we made the truck lot. bed slide out of it, etc. Right. Ooh, it's cold. It's rainy and about uh, 41 degrees. I'm not sure how much work I'm gonna get done in here today. In our last Dreamboat video, we talked about how we wanted to build with 8020. And it's come to my attention that maybe the viewer doesn't know what 8020 is. So we've decided to take a minute and explain exactly what we're using for the Dreamboat build. 8020 is extruded aluminum and we are using the 15 series which means it's one and a half inch by one and a half inch the uses for this for the weight and rigidity are infinite we are trying to use as much of the stuff that we got in our auction ebay auction lot as possible it was included in the bulk 8020 that we purchased we built the bed slide with as much of this hardware as possible. And now we're gonna try to build Dreamboat with as much of this hardware as possible. There are so many different ways you can attach things to 8020. It's using really simple hardware. This is a T-nut and there's a bolt. I can take the T-nut and I can slide it in the channel and I could take my bracket and a bolt and mount things in this channel and move it to along the length as needed. And as I turn this in, it tightens and it holds this. Now I can take another piece and mount this here like this. After I tap the end, I can take it and mount stuff like this. So it's infinitely simple or complex based on what you want to use. You can assemble different things with the different hardware that you can buy. I find myself sometimes overwhelmed by the sheer options available. You can get catalogs that are like old timey phone books. They're like encyclopedias of just part numbers. It can be a little overwhelming. There's different kinds of variations of hinges. For example, these came in my set, right? So I could mount a piece of 8020 this way, like this, and take this. So then all of a sudden you have something that articulates and bends like this, or maybe your design needs to go like this. There's just so many possibilities. And since I already own it, I'm gonna use it. Here's a basic door hinge style attachment. T-nuts are already sort of mocked into place. And then I slide this into the channel. And then I would tighten with an Allen key and slide my next piece on. Come on. And then I would tighten this with an Allen key and I have a hinged piece of equipment, whatever your imagination holds. We make these cuts, these clean cuts using the miter saw. We have a Diablo blade, brand doesn't really matter, but it has 96 carbide teeth. And that's the important part of this. You need a lot of teeth to make clean cuts. While I have the blade lifted up, I spray WD-40 and then I fire up the saw and I come down and I make that cut. We spray lubricant for every cut that we make. When we were making the 80-20 bed slide, at one point, Andrew was making a bunch of cuts. The blade of the saw was off by about two degrees. He didn't even really notice it until he went to start putting stuff together and then it's painfully obvious and then you have to go back. So you wanna make sure that you're cutting dead square. To make a really sturdy structure, in the Ikea cabinet size dimensions so that I can use all that modular stuff that all comes in very specific dimensions to fit inside the cabinets. 
in a cabinet box made of this. One benefit to using the 8020 is it's actually waterproof, right? So the IKEA boxes are chip particle board and when they get wet, they swell and they get ugly and wrinkly and then they sort of blow apart and crumble. I'm not gonna have that problem with this product. A major con, a lot of the fittings, a lot of the fancy pieces and stuff are pretty expensive and a lot of times you have to order them plus shipping to that you want to have a plan so that you don't have to buy this much stuff now i didn't buy this retail and i probably wouldn't have been able to afford that i would very likely be drawing it out ordering just the lengths of this that i need just the fasteners and hardware that i need plus maybe you know five percent extra just in case right? And trying to keep my cost as low as possible. I wouldn't have a giant case like this of hardware and parts to try. And I wouldn't have the exper some of the experimental, more interesting pieces that came in my kit. Going to Lowe's and just picking up lumber could be easier. But this is what I have and this is what I'm gonna use. What's next for us? Well, we're gonna build IKEA dimension cabinet boxes using the 8020. We'll note the sizes, we'll show you the process, and we'll pass that information along to you so that you can replicate the project and maybe even save yourself a little bit of money. Stay tuned, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell for more Airstream Wheeler content. I'm so cold. It's 30 degrees and they're gonna for they're forecasting snow. I don't understand. My house has wheels. How do we keep getting this so wrong? So wrong.